Thank you and good afternoon. Missouri's athletic director resigns. More on this right now. We talked about this a little bit yesterday. Let's get more into it. Columbia University of Missouri athletic director Reeves Ransvall reportedly leaving the same job to go to Missouri. It's shocking less Reeves Francois helmed the athletic department less than three years since taking the job. The last one was Jim Sturk, and the one before that was Jim Sturk was there for a hot five minutes. He was there from, let's see, he was at Missouri from 2016 to 2021, and before that was The best I can gather, there might be more, but Mac Rose left Missouri when they were in a heap oil of a bad place, and Missouri's basketball program was on suspension from the tournament. So obviously, they're in a better place than they were. Definitely the first fire. In 2016, 2021, that was Conzo. It's, maybe it's the same thing. I don't know. But she did not do her job of hiring the right coach. Conzo did win, not ever win a tournament game. Um, maybe you consider uh, this game's better than Conzo. I don't know. But you don't have a conference win right now, so there's not much better. She did hire. Um, was uh... Anyways, let's go over more on that. Since taking the job in 2021, they credited with... A moment, momentum, Reed Francois, Hyde, coaches like Dennis Gates and Dwan Swelvin and Kendrick Jackson said had planned to renovate Memorial Stadium and brought $62 million, a record of donation just recently. But the university leadership have established an oversight committee to monitor Mizzou athletics, a probable point to why between why Reed Francois left and the upper level of the administration. Mizzou Athletics, she leads to the Arizona, the migrating from the Pac-12 to the Big 12. It's also a struggle with finances while shifting a rising Southeastern Conference to the program of one need of surprising Reed Francois. Reed Francois is the first woman to Become the Mizzou athletic director and led the department to a financial surplus, and being black, and in the black, in the most recent physical year during her tenure, she fired basketball coach Conzo Martin before hiring Dennis Gates, who guided the program to back to the NCAA tournament her first season. In the Tigers football season was led. To the Eli Drinkwitz arrival, Columbia President Reed Francois finished in the top pre presidents. Reed Francois finished the season in the top ten, did Missouri in the rankings in the Cotton Bowl and in the win. Improvements to fan experience. Plus, football team success saw five consecutive during the 2023 season. As a result, Reed Francois secured their first stage of approval, renovation of the stadium concourse. On February 8th, University of Missouri Board of Curators, curators which I also want to make note is, I've only heard the Board of Curators once, and that's Missouri's. Missouri uh, Intercollegiate Athletics Special committee is in charge of overseeing the department and the athletic department. MU athletes are accountable, literally, the board to the board of and state through the new committee. More important than ever, Reed Board of Curators documents explaining need the committee before hiring Reed Francois, a UNLV athletic director, her son Jackson. Francois was on the MU basketball team. This is his third season. Here's more on Gabe D. Armin, who gives some of the candidates. Gabe D. Armin says, 
let the athletic director do their jobs. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam's Sports Report. Maybe that's it. Did hire Dennis Gates. Yeah. Enjoy. He, that's that's uh, incomplete at this point. Um, well, that's but, generous. Yeah, <laughs> I, I said that, I said it that way to, to with a little bit of uh, effect. No, it's complete. It's complete. She's right, gone. right, 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 right. It's so official. It, 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 but but years what Dennis done. Gates becomes is, is, that's is on her. That's so that, that's what I mean by incomplete. Her her hire was was worth it. If not, then I think you kind of look at, at I think her tenure will be looked at as something of a curiosity. It's the time for it to poop the bed. <laughs> well, so is Desiree Reed Francois leaving the beginning of said pooping. I, Pull I, down the sheets. I will Here show it comes. Clean sheets at the K Dog Ranch. I, I don't think that's it's the beginning uh, of the end there. I, 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 <laughs> I, I, I it, when you wake up in this business and say, oh, you know, it's kind of slow. Nothing's really going to happen. Like, you're so screwed within five minutes. Got a call that said she's absolutely not leaving Columbia for USC. She has no interest. Like, she's not going to be there long. Yeah, and, and I'm, I know this won't be popular with the, most of your listening audience, but if you look at college athletics, there are two leads everybody wants to be in right now. And she was in one of them, running an athletic department in one of them, and left to go outside of one of them. Like, I have the support here where maybe when something bad happens, maybe I am the fall person. And it's, something bad's going to happen. It happens everywhere. You know, the oversight committee I would refer to as the straw that broke the camel's back. And the curators have always viewed him as their coach because we know what happens uh, in the hiring process leading to him. And he's 11-2 and two and was number seven in the country this year. He did a heck of a job. I questioned the extension when it happened, and they were right, and I was wrong fully support and agree with the one they gave him this year. So right. B comes to you and says, Seren, we're bringing in a committee to oversee the two to six time slot Monday through Friday. Your reaction is, well, you don't need me here or want me here very much, isn't it? Did she get along with Eli Drinkwitz? Did she not get along with Eli Drinkwitz? I think anybody should get along with a football coach that goes 11-2. and two. Was the relationship perfect? I don't think so. Um, let me float another one. The Dennis Gates thing, he has not won a conference game. It's going terribly wrong, and that was going to put her under heat. She doesn't have the answer for basketball and doesn't think it's going to right itself next year that, uh-oh, this could be a problem, and, and the basketball part of the equation has people really concerned. Ten months ago, we were, I mean, we couldn't praise Dennis Gates and that higher enough, right? And it, it obviously changed, and it's a horrible year, and there's not necessarily. I think the other two that were really in the running when Missouri hired Desiree were, was uh, Ren Baker, who was, he was Macro's number two guy here. He was at North Texas at the time. He is now at West Virginia, which to me probably makes it, uh, would he listen? I mean, look, given some of the things we're talking about, he knows how things work at Missouri. Is that is that a positive or a negative? Laird Beach, he's the uh, AD at Memphis. He was here under Mike Alden. He was certainly in the mix last time when they hired Desiree. I had somebody mention John Curry's name to me. I, I don't know if there's anything to that. I, we're just throwing out names here, right? Somebody else said they, they'd heard maybe uh, Jamie Pollard at Iowa State would listen. Again, don't know if that's true. I, I would put much more in the camp of uh, of Veach and Baker than I would the last two. Um, another name that some people will bring up is Mark Allnett, who's at uh, Buffalo. You know, I mean, he played football here, held tons of jobs in the athletic department here, uh, went to Buffalo and hired Lance Leifold and, uh, and Nate Oates. So, you know, obviously has some idea what he's doing. They've fallen on harder times since those two left, but obviously had Buffalo going pretty well under them. Uh, do, do they need to look at how they manage things from the top down? Here's what I think should happen at Missouri, and I think it should happen at every university in the country, and, and we all know it doesn't because we read the soap opera things of donors and boards and all that. I've done this job for a long time. I know how to do it. Just provide me the tools to do it, and now let me do it. And if I'm going to make a huge mistake, say, hey, let, let's think about this. But day-to-day, -day, let me do my job. Day-to-day, -day, you may be and let the AD do his or her job. Just leave it alone. You're a curator. You're not the AD. You're the chancellor. You're not the AD. You're the president. You're not the AD. And they don't have your job. No, you hire the head coach to hire his staff. The head coach, you don't trust him to do that. You fire him. You don't trust the AD to do their job. Don't hire the AD.